Hi, my name is Peter Gray and I'm the Corporate Finance Partner of More Australia in Perth. Uh, today I'll, I'll give my um, market update for, for October um, on, on capital markets and the Australian Stock Exchange here on the ground in Perth. Um, I think the last, the last month or so we've seen a, a, a decline um, in share prices and, and indices across the board, uh, mostly driven by, by uh, the collapse of, of Evergrande um, and, and the, the fall in the iron ore price um, over the last month or so. Um, I think in terms of, of where things are at um, in capital markets here, uh, still very, very strong, still a lot of money around um, and there's still a lot of continuing interest in, in, in just about uh, any, any type of commodity or any project um, uh, that, that, that is, is available to the market. I think the, the, the fall across the indices and, and particularly sort of BHP, Rio and Fortescue that sort of drive um, the indices here in Australia um, is really linked to the iron ore price. Um, in terms of, of the small cap space and, and the junior miners, um, iron ore is not a big uh, commodity in that space um, and, and hasn't been for a while. So the impact on the indices is not necessarily reflected in, in movements in, in the underlying smaller, smaller cap um, juniors, uh, particularly iron ore, um, any, any, any junior in the iron ore space um, over the last 12 months or so that has attracted any interest has just been focused on delivering product um, into the market while prices were high. Um, and I think that's sort of driven by the fact that most advisors um, and analysts would have would have been expecting a decline in the iron ore price um, at some point. And, and, and in truth, um, the, the, the prices remaining where they did for quite, uh, for, for, for as long as they did was, was probably a surprise to most of us. Um, again, probably worth touching on the fact that um, the indices in Australia really are driven by, by a small number of very large cap um, exploration or mining companies um, and then there's <clears throat> multitude hundreds of, of small cap uh, micro cap companies that um, uh, not, not not so heavily exposed to, to to iron ore and the same commodities that the, the majors are exposed to that might not move um, quite the same way um, or might not move to the same extent some of those bigger players move the index by um, so I guess if you believe some of the commentary, uh, gold's been on the on the nose for, for for a month or so. Um, look, there's certainly been a breather in the market, but I think that's probably driven a bit more by the fact that there's been quite a lot of activity in the gold space, a lot of IPOs um, and capital raisings over the last 12 months or so, um, and 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 maybe it's just a, a chance for the market to have a little breather. Um, we're still seeing a lot of demand for gold in the market. Obviously, the gold price is still very strong, um, and, and good gold projects are still getting are still getting money um, and still gaining a lot of interest. So, whilst there has been a, a decline in, in gold um, gold stock prices, um, I think demand actually for, for gold projects is still there and still very strong. Uh, battery minerals, of course, are still going very strongly. So copper, nickel, lithium, uh, still a lot of demand for those commodities. Um, and I think we'll see that continue for, 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 for as far as the, the future we can see. Um, uranium certainly been, been a surprising one. There's been a bit more demand for uranium, a bit more interest in uranium. Uh, we certainly haven't seen a lot hit the market and we haven't seen a lot of activity on the market. But behind the scenes, there's... There's certainly some growing interest in uranium, and I wouldn't be surprised if we see um, increases in transactions over the next six to 12 months in that space. Uh, likewise, oil and gas, which is really exciting um, because it's, it's been in the doldrums for, for I'd, I'd say, two or three years. Um, so it's really great to see oil and gas have it have its day in the sun again, um, especially given some of the success we've actually had here in Perth with some of our oil and gas explorers over the last two or three years. Uh, so, so something that's pretty exciting. Uh, certainly see a lot of interest in that space um, and, and that'll certainly drive things going forwards. I think it's a good reflection of, of the impact uh, people see from solar and uh, or green energy probably more generally and, and you know the impact of electric cars uh, potentially being the demise of the oil and gas sector. Um, whilst it certainly have, have some sort of impact on, on demand for, for oil and gas, I think it's pretty clear 
that, that, that it's certainly not going to wipe the sector out. Um, there'll still be a lot of demand for the oil and gas space. And in fact, um, I think uh, as, as, as suppliers sort of adjust their metrics and their delivery protocols, um, you, you might, we might see prices sort of maintained here, which is great for investors, great for operators in the space, uh, maybe not so good for consumers, um, but, but expect to, to see that trend continue. Uh, so I guess in summary, um, it, it's, it's, it's a, it was a, a, a month uh, where, where I think the market took a, a bit of time just to uh, maybe put some profits in the pocket um, and, and take a bit of a breather. But certainly on the ground here in Perth, we haven't seen any decline in demand or interest in, in just about any commodity um, and, and any of those commodities that, that were uh, are going to struggle to find money now were, were really um, projects or commodities that, that were always going to struggle to find money in any case. Um, just a quick touch on the ASX. Um, uh, certainly always as, as activity sort of increases, um, in the market, the ASX tends to, to scrutinise things a little bit more, um, but we are certainly finding um, the ASX uh, and, and, and the queries and the review process we go through for, for IPO and capital raising process um, to, be, to be quite favourable um, to, to companies, to investors and, and to, to advisors looking to, to get deals across the line and list, which is, which is great to see. Um, so I hope you've, you've found any of this um, interesting. Um, if, if you want to discuss anything I've, I've, I've touched on, um, feel free to, to give me a call.